what's up guys welcome back here on my channel my name is Justine Lamer. I am a graphic designer and here on YouTube I love to talk about everything social media graphic design and especially brand design so everything about branding so I do a lot of logo design and all their brand identity assets how to create them why you need them and all of that so if you're into that kind of content if you are a fellow graphic designer or if you are a small business owner that would love to have some tips and tricks about how to build a brand and all of that just subscribe to my channel you won't be disappointed Okay, today this is a really awesome video because we are going to talk about Adobe Illustrator. So for all of you out there, people that have Adobe Creative Cloud subscription or that have access to Adobe Illustrator, this is for you. Obviously, Adobe Illustrator is not cheap or not free. So if you didn't know that, just know that you will have to pay to get this wonderful platform software anyways the purpose of this video is how i plan my instagram post in adobe illustrator so obviously i'm going to bring you into the entire process that you're going to see behind me on my screen i'm going to share exactly how i um put my artboard and everything in place to be able to plan my instagram post see that my uh, feed is aesthetically pleasing how i like it i have often used a scheduler like planoly or um, preview to plan my instagram but but since I am making most of my infographic things on Illustrator, I thought it was really awesome to just use this platform to organize everything uh, Instagram related on it. And I found this reel from a designer on Instagram and I thought her ID was awesome. I will put her Instagram handle over here so you can check it out because this is where the ID come from. But then I'm going to show you how I made mine so you can make yours. All right, you know what? Let's jump in. Here you go. Welcome into the Instagram planning in Adobe Illustrator. So quick tour, shall we? You will see that in the top left corner, there is my brand assets. So there is my colors, uh, kind of what I want to post about like text, photo, illustration, photo again, brand. This is just random ideas that come out of my head but yeah there's my brand assets and logos that i can add to my post directly this is what i love adobe illustrator so i can just pop up stuff right into my post then i have all of my color palettes and uh, all the variation all the flexibility of my colors that i can use so really like that I keep this in one board then what you see here is basically how i wanted my feed to look like color talking is that make any sense anyway Anyways, for example, I wanted to post with this color in the background and I wanted to post with uh, some color, some of this color in the design and so go on. The color theme didn't really match also because I do a lot of brand presentations and obviously my client brands is not my color palette so it's really hard to make color matching theme, feed theme, but yet I am trying. So sometimes I look at my feed and I'm like, okay, I put uh, on my last post that is about my brand, this color. So now let's try to put this color and I go on like that. So probably going to redo this, see if we can find something that makes more sense. But I mean, I gotta say, I kind of like it. Um, So yeah, this is how I organize myself. Then you can see my feed. So this is the ID that I took from uh, this designer that I found on Instagram. She I did a screenshot of her Instagram feed and put three uh, empty artboard over here to make posts to see how it's going to look on the feed in advance. And I thought that was um, very genius. So, so I copied this from her. We, we're going to do it uh, all over again so we can have an um, updated version of this. What I've done is that is this. I made some artboard of 1080 by 1080, put them here. And we're going to delete this. We're going to delete those two because we're going to do it over again. So then I went to uh, Instagram, my computer over here, and I took screenshots of the top and the bottom. For the top, so on my Mac, I do Command, Shift, and 4, and I select whatever I want to screenshot. So I want to select this, okay? 
Then I'm gonna take maybe 12, maybe 12 past. So maybe we're going to screenshot those. Now that we have the screenshot, they are uh, into my desktop. So we're going to go, we're going to move a little bit um, Adobe Illustrator and I'm just going to take both of them and drag them into my file here, into Adobe Illustrator. Uh, what I'm going to do is embed them right away. So when I leave, I'm not going to leave those images. They're going to be embedded into um, my file. So now I'm just going to hold shift and make it bigger, like the size of my window, for example. And this is the top. So this is basically how my Instagram look like as of right now okay so we did that so now you know how it works as of like how to get your instagram feed into adobe illustrator right so now we have it so as i said those three posts over here are like our next post to come then as you can see on the side i have made a couple of things so that would be my single post as um 1080 by 1080 those over here are our board that i put right beside each other to be able to make carousel spots so here are my artboard they are artboard there's nothing on it when i make a carousel on um adobe illustrator sometimes i like to take for example let's say i take my logo here and i put it in the middle there so now when i'm going to make a carousel with whatever images i made those artboard, those artboard really really close to each other but when i select and export each single one of those artboards is going to cut it cut my design and yet when i'm going to post them one by one on instagram as a carousel is going to uh you know join again so that make a really seamless carousel so this is how i make my carousel on adobe illustrator uh and then i have one for stories and real covers so i started to do and make like design a cover for each and uh, single one of my reels yeah so basically here there's different colors obviously because i also following trying to follow a pattern of color and color over there so here are all of my stories and real cover and as you can see here a bit of the mess is like random post it's just because this is post design that i want to keep but yet i don't want to glitter it in on uh, my uh, post feed so i just keep them here i love i want to keep my gradients this is old uh stories or um, uh, real cover so I feel like I should have some kind of space for them. And here it's where my portrait posts are. So uh, this one is a little bit longer and you're like, what the heck, Justine, is because I was making um, animation on Adobe XD. So this is this is done. So I'm going to keep this. However, I'm going to keep the post this way and we're going to make a little bit more artboard. So I'm just going to click on it, all the option key on my Mac and we're going to make maybe four of them. Know that you can make a carousel out of a uh, single post as well. I mean, the size, I mean, it doesn't have to be 10 by 1080 it can be 1080 by 1350 delay those and yeah we have a couple of blanks so we can make posts in advance and then when we make those posts we can transfer them here to see how they are going to look on our feed so yeah this is this is the organization over here now the last but not least you probably seen on it so we are going to talk about it inside the board inside my adobe illustrator and Instagram planning, I have some Instagram template inspo. So I call it inspo past. You know, sometimes you can be the most creative graphic designer sometimes you're like run out of ideas or run out of inspiration and you really want to have uh, some creative thing that you can refer to to you know create your own post so this is why i have a couple of ideas here so i took inspiration from this this is where my my gradient over here come from i really like it so obviously i put my own brand colors those are my favorite that i found on pinterest and i'm like oh i I really like the style so why not take some ideas from it and make it your own so and yeah so now i just wanted to show you uh, where do i find those inspirations as you can see here i have maybe one two three four five as of right now i'm keeping them because this is kind of the vibe i want to go for there is different style definitely different style right uh i am taking from each one of them and so where i find those inspiration i just go on pinterest and i screenshot those 
So on Pinterest here, I have a board called Instagram Tips and I have lots and lots of templates that I keep and I studied to find some really cool templates. Otherwise, you can, so you can, you can obviously check it out uh, if you go into Pinterest. My name on Pinterest is Justine Lamer with two I over here so uh, you can find me there and follow me uh, if you would like to get some other tips but anyways you can also go into your research bar and tap Instagram template ideas or inspiration I don't know one of them and I'm gonna do all pins and yes from here so I tap Instagram template ideas but you can do Instagram template inspirations and you can find some really cool templates people are super creative they do beautiful things and you can get like very inspired of um, their style and find your own style. Now, the last cool things that I wanted to share about working and making your Instagram post into Adobe Illustrator is if you are, you know, uh, Adobe Creative Cloud and that you have an iPad with Adobe Illustrator on it. I mean, this is life changing. So when I am not working on my computer, I love to work on my iPad. I am an Apple Pencil lover and I do a lot of things on this, drawing, planning, whatever. So let me uh, explain quick so what i did here is that i saved my instagram plan it's called instagram plan into my computer into not into my computer into the adobe library adobe creative cloud library so every time i do something on it it saves it in the adobe cloud so if i close it you can see that it's still in my cloud documents right so now if i go into my ipad i'm not going to show you so i stopped recording this screen and now we're going to record my screen over here into my ipad okay it's recording so now we're going to go into adobe and i have all of my adobe apps and so there is the um illustrator app so i'm going to click on it sometimes it takes some time to to the cloud to understand oh she did something new whatever so let's put it on the ipad right so see i can tell that right now it's synchronizing here the only thing that you have to do is going to your walk over here we're going to click on it and see if he some feature on the construction obviously this is not an entirely niche app but it works really good as of right now but yeah look he did everything that we've done so sometimes uh this is why i like it so much is that sometimes i can start working on my computer making a design and i have to go somewhere or i am not done with the design and i can just finish it on my ipad and like schedule it here and see how it's gonna look because everything is like synchronized and this is this has been just life-changing um I just love it. I love editing on the iPad as well. And uh, Adobe Illustrator for iPad is really complete uh, and they're still working on it. So they're still going to do really magical thing with it. It's gonna be awesome. So that was the last thing I wanted to talk about with you about how I plan my Instagram post in Adobe Illustrator. Guys, if you liked today's video and you had fun watching and obviously learned something new today for your graphic design business or your small business, or if you are using Adobe Illustrator, Illustrator for to something totally different and you want to try using it for Instagram and I helped you do so subscribe to my channel don't forget to like this video that always supports is me anyways if you have any question don't hesitate to leave me a comment I will be happy to answer any of your interrogations until next time take care I will see you next Sunday thank you again bye